So this is kind of where our technologies, Adobe, come in. Uh, there's the Flex technology. It's a language uh, that compiles to uh, the Swift format, which is interpreted by the Flash player. Uh, now there's a desktop version, which uh, called Air, which includes all the features of uh, Flex and Flash, but it also lets you do HTML, JavaScript, in kind of an integrated fashion with uh, file system access and uh, SQLite database. And, you know, lots of kind of uh, rich plumbing for building desktop apps. And the code is very portable. You can share almost all the code from your uh, Flash-based app uh, with your Air-based app. Uh, you know, so shut down that look. It's still running sometimes. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, some of the other uh, challenges with, uh, with writing this application, you want to write the code in a way that's agnostic to the protocol. Like if I've got a real-time protocol where the client has a socket directly to the server, I should be able to write an application but have the same code work uh, over HTTP uh, so we have a nice channel abstraction. Uh, we also want to integrate well into the Java J3 environment. There's still, even though there's a focus now on kind of cloud computing and things like that, and people are still building apps where they need to control the server and the data. Uh, and so uh, most of this talk is going to be focused around that, around connecting Flex and Flash to Java. Uh, of course, since we're Adobe, we've got great tools. The Flex Builder product gives you a nice integrated experience. It's kind of easy to learn. Uh, lots of resources out there for uh, being able to use that. Uh, and we, of course, with the rich internet applications, have efficient and flexible ways to deploy those applications you know, to the browser without you know, losing the benefits of like an HTML app where there's zero client install, zero maintenance. Uh, so what types of applications are we looking to build? Um, you know, the, the line of business is kind of a, a catch-all. I think most of these apps are internal, internet-based apps where uh, people are kind of using them for their jobs or like something they use day in and day out. So user experience is important, ease of learning is important, uh, and efficiency of the use of those applications. So people are getting you know, their jobs up quicker because these apps uh, enable that. Um, custom collaboration apps. So this would be a, a sample where uh, the user is filling out a mortgage application and they reach a spot where they, they're stuck. Uh, and they can click on a link and bring up a live video, audio, chat session with the support representative. And you know, that would be handled by a Flash Media Server or some of our real-time collaboration products. But uh, they also want them to share the data, the model data, the application. So in this case, as I'm changing these form fields, the support rep is seeing exactly what my form looks like. They can go and edit fields, and those changes reflect back in my application. And so by being able to kind of do this type of sharing, we don't have to jump into a, a screen sharing or that type of a situation where maybe the data isn't being transmitted securely or confidentiality gets exposed. Instead, it's an easy way to add these features right to your, your regenerative application. 